Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brent, and today we are on episode 291 of the Death Walkthrough. Today we are starting our journey into Nibelheim. Um, in between episodes, I defeated the Apple Brutals, just three of them, so it wasn't too bad. And we are talking to Greta. Those pests should leave you be now, but keep your distance to be safe. Yeah, I know, vermin overrunning the streets is not very sweet, is it? Nibelheim was not always like this. When I was a child, it was still something to behold, a buzz with music and activity. For generations, we nibble on moles, we dig for the chocolate, literally nibble the chocolate veins to find only the best, richest ore. But the happiness initiative meant making treats for the whole spiral. So gummy bunnies were employed to mine more ore more quickly. The Nibelung moved to new jobs on the surface, mostly abandoning the town. An old friend of mine still runs the local chalk shop, though. Perhaps she knows where we can find Hans. Right. Um. Ooh, snack attack. Nice. Let's go to the chocolate shop. Um. Yeah, sorry, I was just talking to Kevin there. Sorry if you heard annoying typing. I apologize. I also need to turn off email notifications in just a second. There we go. That's a little bit better. Right. Let us see what is in the chocolate shop. Surely nothing, right? Look, lady, we need supplies. You get supplies from the surface. So give them to us and there will not be any trouble. No, you ridiculous men. I do not just get free supplies. I have expenses. You want sweets? You buy them or get out. Have it your way then. Trouble it is. Right, I will be back once I have defeated these Nibelung thieves. They are level um, 17, rank 17, and they are death. So not too bad. We should be fine. Right, I am back just because I didn't have any... Oh, he's put up a shield. Oh, no, this is not good. Oh, and a di... Oh. Oh, they saw me coming. Oh no. <laughs> this is so sad. Oh my gosh. This is this is a stitch up. This is a stitch up job. Jeez. Oh man. <laughs> Yikes. I was so confident. I'm like, you know what? We should be able to kill. But no, not anymore. Please don't you dare shield. Don't you dare. Okay, that's a life one and a myth one. That's fine. But death shields, excuse me. Death dispels just before I hit what? Man. Silly thieves. Ugh. Um, right. <laughs> Let's just wait one more round for a scarecrow and try that again. Please do not death dispel me. What is this? What? 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 I'm so confused right now. What? Where are all these death dispels coming out of? Jeez. Man, they just love death dispel. Holy moly. This fight is a little bit more scary than I thought it was. Um, luckily we have this. <laughs> Jeez, please don't do another one. Okay, good. The problem is they go first as well, so they can literally just death dispel me right before I hit all the time. Which is not cool. I do not appreciate that at all. Really don't. But hey, maybe, maybe they just won't anymore. They've got it out of their system. One each, you know, surely that's enough. Please don't do a death shield. Yikes, yikes. This fight is a lot more than I was expecting. Oh well, we do have a ship of fools to follow up this, um, <laughs> to follow up this scarecrow. We also have a Lulu, but I really don't want to waste my Shadow Pip if he's just going to death dispel me. Watch this be a death dispel. Okay, good, it isn't. Watch this be a death dispel. I bet it will be. 100% bet. Okay, good, it wasn't. Fantastic. We are okay. We are all okay. You ask for it and they don't give it. It's just how it works. It's just how it works. Can my PS come in clutch here? We will find out. <laughs> oh no. This fight took a turn for the worse, honestly. I was I just started recording because you're like, you know, we're gonna kill. And then they just did this me and Death Shield out of nowhere. Just suddenly. Was not expecting that. But hey, it makes interesting content, I guess. Right. <clears throat> Oof, okay, half health. We really should have packed some prisms. Uh oh. Uh-oh, should have put some prisms in. Oh, well, let's just try this again. We'll just try this again. See what happens. Um, luckily, no more death dispelling there, which is good. Very good. We're going to keep that blade just in case we do get death dispelled and we can counteract it. 
That's the only reason why I'm keeping that blade. Just because I don't really want to, um, you know, deal with the whole death dispel sort of thing. Maybe this can kill. They do not have any shields anymore, so it's just their resist, which is probably about 50 or... S probably about 60, 50 to 60, I would say. Um, they're still not dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, we're gonna have to wait for a Lulu. This is, this is probably so far the hardest fight, and it's only mobs. What the heck? Oh, yes, kill yourself. Oh, it's a heal, isn't it? Okay, that was rude. That was not what I expected. Why do they heal boost as well? This is so rude. How dare you heal? You know, the only people who are allowed to heal is me. Okay? Only I'm allowed to heal. You can't heal. You're not allowed to heal. That's illegal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this fight really took me, like, by surprise. I was not expecting this. I really wasn't. I really was not expecting this at all. Um, we're gonna blade just to make sure that we kill because we are killing. We have to kill here. Absolutely have to kill. If we get death dispelled again, I am going to absolutely be mad. Very, very mad. I will be super duper mad. It'll be crazy how mad I will be if I get death dispelled just before I Lulu. Please don't do that. Just, just don't. Game, just be nice to me for once. Please. No, no. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's just an infection. That's okay. And that's just a trap. That's fine. They they were nice to me. Infection is okay. Death Dispel, not okay. There's like a line. Death Dispel, no. Infection, sure. I don't care about that at the moment because I'm not trying to heal. But hey, we crit, of course. And we gon' kill because they're bad. Really bad? Yep. Right, there we go. The fight's over. <laughs> GG. Whew, that was um a little bit more worrying than I was expecting. Jeez. Oh, danke, customer. We do not get many of you around here. Understandable, given the sad sort of riffraff about nowadays. Look what the louts have done to mine shop. I cannot deal with this right now. Come on, dears. Let us talk outside. <clears throat> right. Let us head outside and talk to Ugla. Bah, Nibelheim is really going downhill. And it started underground, so yeah, these are the bad times. You could move up to the surface, Olga, like everyone else is doing. Work in one of the factories. If nothing else, it would smell better. Not of your life, little miss. This is my home. As long as some of us stay to maintain the gummy bunnies, I will stay to supply them. Speaking of gummies, Hans came down here to check on yours. Have you seen him? Oh, Liebchen, please tell me he did not go into the mines. They were closed. There were so many accidents. What? He could still be in there. Come visit. We must get to the mines. Okie dokie. To the mines. We're so close on leveling up. So close. Holy moly. We're nearly 133, which is fantastic. That would be great. That would be great if we could be level 133. Um, very, very close. Oh! I cannot let you into the mines by the orders of Nana's old-fashioned executive board. But my brother is in there. If there is trouble, I need to reach him. And you will not stop me. Trouble? There is no trouble in Caramel. You know this. Just inconveniences. Please try again later. Have an old-fashioned delightful day. Great. Let us find the one in charge here. I hate to say it, but he is probably in the foundry. Where the smell is coming from. Hmm. The treacle foundry. Oh no. What is treacle? I wonder. Hmm. The the mystery of Nibelheim. What is treacle? We will find out eventually. I can promise you that. And it's not something that is nice. Um. But hey, we don't know that yet. We don't know that yet. You know, it could be perfectly nice because surely it's perfectly nice because it's caramel. Obviously. There. That hamster's probably just who we need. Orson. More like awesome. Huh. Am I right? No, he's not awesome. He's really not. Spoilers, but he ain't awesome. He He's not awesome at all. He's very, very annoying. I don't like him at all. Do not like him at all. But hello, awesome. Hello. Oh, uh, hello, uh, valued customer. How did you get down here? By which I mean, uh, welcome to Nana's old-fashioned new treacle division. <laughs> My friend. Treacle is only the disruptive triple A designer treat of Malibone. Oh, it soon will be. Danke to Nana's happiness initiative. 
Just tell me it is not what we are smelling right now. What I am smelling is toxic vibes, my friend. Treacle is the secret IP. Just know we are going to make Nibelheim rich. Rich as hamsters. <laughs> toxic vibes. <laughs> then we can all afford clothespins for our noses. But right now, I need to get into the mines. My brother may be trapped down there. This I cannot do without a senior exec sign off. It is the total liability for me to let anyone, especially a valued customer, into the mines. Now, uh, I have a meeting about our chirpy bird campaign. Got swarms of birdies lined up to chirp about treacle. Ah! So, so long, farewell, and H-A-O-F-E-D, my friends. <laughs> Yay, level up 133. Nice. Um, yeah, we, we need to go be some more toxic vibes, I think. Just... Personally, I think we need to go and spread our toxic vibes all the way through caramel. It just seems like it's something that they need, to be honest. They just definitely need some toxic vibes. Right, let's find a way into the mines. Okay, so we're going to have to break into the mines. I will need soda water and fizzle pebbles and... Or we can use whatever that was. It came from the toffee house. Let us go find it. The toffee house? I wonder what is in there. I can't actually remember this bit. I really can't. Nibelheim is actually a very, very long area. Um, and I j really cannot remember most of it. <laughs> really can't. I know that probably next episode there's quite a huge scary boss fight. It's either next episode or the episode after. Um, that I'm not looking forward to at all. Um, but hey, we'll see if we can do it. We will see. What is in the Toffee House? Uh-oh, this sounds bad. We know you helped the wizard escape your estate, Von Trapp. Your musicology can't save you now. Well, yeah, if I only use the piccolo. If I had the full flugelhorn, you would be in the real trouble. I guess the wizard shall have to save me. What? I mean, good. <coughs> Take them down in the name of Lady Copycat. Right. It <laughs> looks like we're fighting Lady Copycat today. Um, right, I'll be back once I've defeated these Cabal soldiers. Right, I am back. Here we go. Hopefully my Scarecrow will kill. They haven't done anything scary this time, but I mean, we've, fight we've fought so many of these guys that, you know, eventually they have to give up. That weakness is slightly unfortunate, but hey, it happens. So is that one, but you know, it happens. Of course, just before I hit, but oh well, it's fine. It's fine. Hopefully this should still kill. We did have an extra blade here than normal, so we most likely will kill. Um, just because I couldn't find couldn't find my scarecrow for a couple extra rounds, but hey, it's okay. It means we kill, so it's good. All is well in the world. Look at that, fantastic. We even boost. Yay! So much easier than that previous fight. Holy moly, that was um not what I was expecting at all. Wizard, a most timely rescue. Wait, are you Malva von Trapp? The first Nibelung to join Nana's old-fashioned board of directors? Well, yeah, retired, so. I am a musicologist these days. Now, Liebschens, I know why you are here. Let us discuss matters en route to the foundry. Right, let us head to Malworth in the foundry, or on the way to the foundry, and see what he has to, has to deal with today. What is what has he got? So you have taken to exploring my hometown, yeah? It has seen the happier days. Smells them too. Oh, ho, ho, silly wizard! I am a spy. Remember? I have sneaky little worms everywhere telling me secrets. Of course, I knew you were here. I also know the quake charmer played all sad face and innocent, but a second cavity appearing after he fled Switzburg is evidence against him. You two really do not like this cabal, do you? Blaming them for all this. Oh, well, they are good at the scary faces and villainy. I know this sour gummy trend must lead to one of them too. So, let us get you into those mines. You go ahead. I think that manager did not like me much. Which is fine. I didn't like him much either. I will wait for you by the mines. Right, Forever Mines. What a, what a name for the quest. I love the quest names in this game, honestly. They are the most creative things. It's fantastic. Um... But yeah, let us head back to Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And see what he can do for us today. Hopefully he can let us into the mines without too much trouble. But probably not. Probably not. But you never know. You never know. It's worth a try. 
Worth a try. Right, what do you want? Guten Tag, manager. I know this is an imposition, but it would bring the smile to my eyebrows if you could let my friend here into the mines. My friend Von Trapp! Ah! I admire your ambition. I respect your vision. But you are technically retired, so you have not the authority. That said, maybe we can synergize our paradigms. Like I said, I am building a treacle enterprise that will reinvent the snack time wheel. But my secret recipe was stolen. Mm, competitors, saboteurs, patent trolls made of cinnamon. Either way, it needs to be destroyed before they copy it. And a company executive can be trusted to keep your secret. Very well. I will find these thieves if you let the wizard in the mines while I do. All right, but the steel is ironclad. You do your part. I will chirp to the guard to let the wizard through. Okie dokie, looks like we are going to the mines. Fantastic. It was super duper easy and I'm sure nothing, nothing could go wrong here at all. Definitely not. Definitely nothing can go wrong, ever. It is just a solid plan. <laughs> man, man, I... There's, there's parts of me that wish I like like that i went through the story in test realm and then there's also parts of me that doesn't but you know it's fine it's fine it's kind of like i've just already played it previously which is perfectly fine you got us access into the mines wunderbar let us get over that fast while you are doing that wizard i will look into this icky sticky recipe theft and find you when i have something okie dokie let's go to the mines and we will see what is in there? Who knows? That was probably a carbon copy of all of the Polaris mines. But hey, and no, not Polaris mines, Cool Ranch mines. But hey, it'll be fine, right? I heard right? my boss chirping like a bird, so I will let you into the mines now. That's right. So, wait, what? Okay, have fun. Do not die. And if you do, according to my manager's chirps, you waive Nana of all legal liability and... Yes, yes, bureaucracy, bureaucracy. We get it. Come visit. We must find my brother. Let's find Hans into the mines we go. Haha. -ha. Amazing. Oh, look. That is Hans. After him. Okie dokie. Apparently, it's this episode that we're fighting the thing that I'm not too looking forward to fighting. And I have no, no idea on how the cheats actually work. It'll be interesting to see what happens. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Right. Let's do this. Let's do this. This will probably be the last bit for this episode, this wee little dungeon here. Guess we know the gummies are sour here as well. Push through. We need to find Hans. Right. I'll be back once I've defeated the gummy boonies. Um, these guys are rank 17 life and death. I'll be back in just a little bit. Right. I am back. Here we go with some lovely hitting things. They love that vengeance don't they they really do also why is it six rounds man they get a buffed version six whole rounds jeez crit lovely and two blades and should hopefully kill definitely would kill the life because mega boost and the death maybe slightly more no we still did good job good job wasn't too bad nice work nice work there we go easy peasy no don't eat me hold on hans we're coming hurry visit this way don't eat me bunny bopper what a cool badge these bunny badges are actually really 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 cool uh -huh. oh no it is what is a heavy duty digging gummies and it has horns this feels really weird let us take this thing apart visit um yikes um now i'm gonna see if there's a if, if there is um cheats for this yet um we will see let's see if they have cheats because i know he is kind of scary um uh if a wizard casts an unpredicted positive charm the bundozer will cast a sun school a version of disarm so you need to protect your blades um at the end of every third round um a warning that the um that the cheat that will not work will occur next round is given um, which at the end of every fourth round and every third round after the bundozer will cast a sun school a natural attack 
and will then cast a sun school spell that has the chance to instantly defeat inst of instantly defeating the target regardless of current health if the target is not instantly defeated they take one third of their max health total as damage instead so um yeah slightly worrying very very worrying in fact we are going to obviously we need um, protected blades so um yeah he has eleven thousand and seventy health so that's not too bad really um we are what's going to do what's going to do is put in some aegises and we're going to put in a balance a spirit blade as well we're going to try and just hit with the thing we can faint so that's perfectly fine um so yeah we'll just do that i guess and see what happens hopefully we don't die we might we we might we might be here for a while i don't know we will find out i'm going to try and solo this i i just to see what happens um also because i believe you do get a badge for soloing bundoza um so yeah that was not what I meant to do. Um, wrong, wrong thing to cast on the thing. Um, there is also a death boonie, a, a gumi boonie death boonie um, next, next to him. So that's slightly worrying. So we definitely need at least two blades to kill. But hopefully we should be okay. It'll be interesting to see. I'm not a hundred percent. I'm confident about this because I know when we did this in test drum, with absolutely no idea of the cheats, um, we died at least once if not twice so yeah it'll be interesting to see what happens and that was with uh, another person so yeah it could be could be i might have to go get a friend i might have to go and grab a friend but we will see hopefully we don't i'm gonna try and just mm -hmm. so right every third round instant knockout that's really annoying how it could be an instant knockout i don't like that it's, it's pretty rude what is this what does this natural attack do? No clue. No clue at all what that did. No clue. Oh well, it is fine. Um, <clears throat> right, let us go for a blade. Lovely wee little blade here. And we will see. Okay, so we can only do one blade at a time. That's annoying. That's pretty annoying. We're going to hit next. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. We're definitely going to hit. Definitely going to hit with a Lulu. Sounds good. So the second bit that he does, does a whole bunch of damage. That's fun. And it doesn't show up until the end of the round. That's the one thing that I really dislike about these sort of cheats. They just don't show up until the end of the round. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. I really wish that didn't happen. So you know exactly what you were dealing with. Um, and it wasn't like a big surprise. But hey, it's okay. We're going to refill our health here. Hopefully, we're gonna crit. We're gonna hopefully kill the minion. Hopefully, we could also do a decent amount of damage on the boss as well. He does boost, so that's good. Eight thousand, so he's nearly dead. A ship of fools might actually kill him, especially with a, <clears throat> especially with a boost. Um, so we're just gonna ship of fools, and hopefully we kill. We'll see if if we manage to do this first first try. I would be very impressed. Very, very impressed with myself. Um, yeah. I'm still surprised that we haven't died yet. <laughs> still very surprised about that. But next round, he's going to do his big, big hit. Um, so, we'll see. Hopefully, we can be fine. I, I'm not too worried about the minion. The minion can last for however long because I, I really don't, really don't care too much about it. It doesn't do anything too bad. It's more just the boss that I am very worried about. Hopefully this kills though. If not, we've just capped up on health for this round. So hopefully the gurgling and preparation is fine. We will see though. Maybe it won't be. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think that killed. I'm pretty sure that killed, right? Uh-oh. We didn't quite kill. He has a 500 health. Excuse me, game. What is this? What is this? Right, we're going to have to see what happens. We just need a Lulu. Uh, not a Lulu, a Scarecrow. We just need one more round. Um, I'm just going to pass that away. Um, it is <clears throat> 
Okay, this should kill. This should kill. Hopefully this doesn't instantly kill me. <laughs> that would be good. Um, I don't think it will. Don't think it will. Yeah, okay, that's good. And this should kill. And GG. We might get a badge or two from this as well, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. That wasn't too bad. I was a little bit more worried. I mean, I think now that I know the cheats, it's a little bit easier than not knowing the cheats. Um, it does also help that we boost. I feel really sorry for those that don't boost. I feel funny. I should think so after that sad, silly display. But are you okay? Okay? I have been chased. I have been swallowed. I have gummy in places one ought not to mention in polite company. All because of your mission. Huh? What? Sorry, my head. It is all swimmy and muddled and tangy. I need a minute. Hans, wait. Right, that was, that's a cool badge. Soul Dozer. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Soul Dozer. That's the badge for soloing Bundoza. Um, I I believe. Which is a pretty cool badge. Pretty cool badge, not gonna lie. I love love me some badges, and that one's pretty cool. Careful, wizard. I think all the time in the belly of a sour gumi has upset Hans. This is your fault. You wanted to find the proof of your theory. You sent me to Nibelheim. I just, I just, I don't know. He a little bit angry. A little bit angry. Swallow any of the sour gummy? How could I not? I was yelling through the whole fight to help you. You valued customer. You parasite leeching caramel. This is all your fault. Apparently, it's my fault now. Who would have thought? <laughs> Whoops. Um, right, let's just defeat these guys off camera. I'll be back in just a little bit once these guys are dead. They're not too bad. I am back. Here we go with the kill, hopefully. This does not give a weakness anymore, which is fantastic. I always get slightly worried when Power Nova comes out, and I'm like, oh, wait, it's Ra that gives a weakness now, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, this should kill. Um, again, Blade, we burst, so it shouldn't be too bad yep gg easy clap easy clap love to see it that did even more he has way less way less block than mr mr hans i don't i don't know what i'm doing i feel so what is the opposite of sweet sour salty that is it i am salty and not happy the other one sad and angry i need to lay down Wizard, I will take Hans back to Olga's shop. I will meet you in the mines when he's safe. No, wait! There's someone else still trapped down here! You must find Gunther! Oh. Okay, new plan. I will help Hans. You find this Gunther, then meet me in the shop when you're ready to continue our investigation. Right, we need to go find... Uh, actually, maybe not find Gunther this episode. We might do that next episode because this is slightly over time, especially with that extra fight that we did because, um... The death dispels. Ugh. Imagine that. Um, but yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, next episode, we will go find Gunther and go deeper into these mines. Surely nothing bad could happen in these mines. Surely not. Um, here's Gunther, by the way. He's just, just down here. Just down here. Here's the map as well. We didn't actually show that. Um, we, we don't see our arrow on the map, which is interesting. But hey. There's the map. Looks cool. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like. Blah, blah. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember to craft outside the box.